Welcome to this archival of the lost A Realm Reborn trials. With the tuning up of A Realm Reborn, cleaning things up, adding duty support and all, a few trials were removed or entirely changed. This video will be me going over those duties with some light commentary. There are three, and likely never to be any more than that. There have also been a bunch of dungeon changes, but I don't have any of those, so don't expect a sequel video, since I doubt any of the trials are going to have this happen. We'll be doing all the duties synced and with minimum eye level checked, so there is absolutely no overgearing possible. We have to make do with the minimum, which is still much stronger than we were back in the day. Anyway, starting off is the infamous Cape Westwind. Minimum eye level, it still only takes about three minutes to kill him. We also did it with classes only, which makes it even funnier how easy this is. The big issue with this one was people not taking it as seriously as they needed to. As if this was straight up an extreme level fight or something. Boss not being pointed away, mechanics not being paid attention to. You may even notice me at points using piercing talent at very dumb spots just to ensure I am staying out of the way of the boss and random cleaves. People are just so used to it being a face roll that they expect everything to still be free even at such a low power level. But really, it becomes a real fight. You need to actually manage tank HP, off tank has to get adds, or the main tank is going to just melt, even with both healers on it. I do also appreciate how it does actually teach you how you need to handle a Realm Reborn fight design. There's no cast time for his tank busters, so you already are learning to count autos, or at least assuming some people will learn. Then there's the firing missiles up into the air attack. There is no AoE indicator until the last moment, so you need to understand that the shooting into the air animation is the cast for it. Design has shifted a lot over the years, but generally, it's a good start for people to understand the basics of the design, if it didn't die in 60 seconds due to massive overgearing, thanks to the lack of an eye level lock. Honestly, it would have been fine if they had just added that, but with the other changes they made, it makes sense that this has become a solo duty with honestly cool mechanics. The second fight was Good King Mogomog, Long May His Reign Continue, and Thornmar Chard. Well, it didn't last, because the fight is entirely different now. Because it would have been really weird to, they didn't touch up the extreme fight. As far as a hard mode fight being a tutorial for an extreme fight, they shouldn't have changed it at all. As far as your average player, who probably won't touch Mog Extreme outside of an unsynced party, yeah, good call. I honestly enjoyed the fight for what it was, it did really focus in on the idea of you need to kill ads that cost a lot of wipes. Or at least taught to take basic attention to people talking to you when they tell you don't kill the boss. But then they also change it that it won't wipe you, just make him go invulnerable. It slowly picked away at what lessons it could teach your average player. Now though, it can have the fancy modern indicators and much better mechanics for getting a new player into the greater overall flow of the game. We didn't do this one as classes only, since you really should have jobs by now. It might have made it a bit more of a challenge overall, but it's... it's Mog. We did have a very close call with the tank moogles and the poison drop, but otherwise it wasn't too big of an issue. We killed the moogles off slowly, and the fight got easier as we did, though the tank moogles not being kept away was a bit messy. Didn't even have a single death though. Close is close, but it wasn't a full death. Min-eye level wasn't enough of a push to ruin us. 
Don't really have that much more to say on it, personally. It was just an enigma of a fight. Kind of like I said with Cape Westwind, if they kept to a Realm Reborn design practices, we may have been better with keeping this fight around. But as the game is now, probably the right call. Steps of Faith is our final trial and was, uh, quite the trial. It was one that nobody ever could do right to the point it got nerfed. Twice. I believe I joined the game only after the first nerf. This nerf allowed teams to kill him only after the exploding barrels near the end. And this was without being synced. You'd use both dragon killers, the second one usually missing and killing half the party, and the exploding barrels still coming close to the failure state. If this is how close it was post-nerf, I don't know how anyone beat it before any nerfs. Here though, we kill him well before the final keyword. Reminder that we are unsynced and eye level locked to the minimum eye level. It's not that much of an increase from min to max, but it does add up. That's just how strong we are now with direct hit replacing accuracy in addition to general power levels just rising through the game's progression. I guess I haven't done this trial in forever, because going into this one, I was directing people left and right. Okay, we need people on the cannons, and the dragon killers, and... 
We didn't need any of that. I could have left everyone to act like your average pug group, and it would have gone fine. Help that everyone knew how to perform a basic rotation and focus the boss when told to. Most important thing of note for this, though, is my intentional death. You'll see me run in front of the boss and into one of his pounces to die and reset to the beginning of the map. There's a shortcut that takes you back. There's literally no reason to raise people. Waste of mana, time, and damage. The death debuff is worth not having. Otherwise, yeah, planning when starting this one was completely pointless. We tore through this one so quick. With the state it is in now, it would have been the ideal fight to remove first and foremost. It's fun that it's different, but most players don't try to interface with the fact that it is different. And now A Realm Reborn teaches players how to do exaflares, which is hilarious as a concept. That's probably the funniest bit. Over the years, the game has gotten harder and harder with new fancier mechanics, and now some of them are being retroactively added to A Realm Reborn. Hilarious to me.
Thanks for watching this little bit of archival. I wanted something easy to do after the last video and this was very much it. Plus I was planning on getting to it anyway. It's why I have the footage after all. Though please rate the video, comment on it, sub to me or my Patreon if you'd like. You can also follow my Twitter, follow me on Twitch, or even get some merch. Or follow my second channel. I'm doing a playthrough of Satisfactory Update 6 and we'll move into others later. Otherwise, yeah, this was something light to do. What comes next? We shall see. Take care and may the power of Anna the Toxley Waste to your enemies. And an extra special thanks to all my patrons over on Patreon, with an extra special thanks going out to... Astrid Weller, Eamon al Khatib, Benjamin Hahn, Benjamin Haynes, Benjamin Rice, Sadia Diosasan, Serix, Ethan Olson, Ethan W, Frazier97, James Hall, Jericho, Mizella, Nick Griffin, T Rogue, Timmy, and Zero Two. Thanks all. See you for the next video.